common thread through everything we did, whether it be the total ownership experience definition, the way we conducted business, both within the team and with our retailers, everything was about people. So thinking of the phrase human centric, it's, it's just a natural. It is exactly how we began life as a division, it was human centric. If you think of the total ownership experience, the brand values, the philosophy, most of it was about treating people as honored guests and creating a great experience for people. And to see that continue on even into today's brand messaging is incredibly gratifying. The fact that the brand was all about people, or as Bill would say, was about people, is about people, and will always be about people, was just like the air we breathed. The idea of human-centric from the beginning was part of the Q45 development process. Mr. Oka would talk about the car being an extension of the human inside of it. Talk about being intuitive, of feeling like the Q45 could actually predict what you wanted to do, like it was somehow connected into you, reading your mind. That is the primary way that that whole human centricity flowed through into the product design and contributed to making the, the idea that infinity is seamless, that where the car leaves off and where the, the experience with the dealer or whomever picks up is really transparent and seamless. The way the team came together and became as cohesive as it did was not an accident, but I would say that also it wasn't something where we did trust fall team building exercises or anything like that. It was a natural consequence of the way Bill led the business. It was more of a process of osmosis than something where, okay, now you're part of infinity, here's your five rules or six rules of engagement, you gotta do this or you're in trouble. No, 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 no. It was so natural, so organic, and just felt like, why would anybody do business any other way? He put trust in you, he showed that he trusted you, he empowered you, he delegated to you. When somebody like Bill, in his position, trusts you, you inherently, trust him back and respond in kind to that type of treatment. None of us had ever experienced a team environment like that before. In many ways, it was both daring and forward versus the sort of high pressure command and control environment that everyone in the auto industry was used to. The principles upon which the brand was founded have never faded. What do you think about treating people as honored guests? Is that important? What do you think, how do you feel about respect and trust and teamwork? I, I can't imagine anybody saying, ah, yeah, that was, that's so 80s. You know, that's, that's gone. Nobody cares about being respected anymore. If anything, I think those things have gotten stronger and more valuable. And so I would say, Infinity's core values are shining brighter than ever. I think that when you have a sound foundation of core philosophies that are long lasting, maybe even eternal in terms of their value, that when a company is based on those sorts of lasting principles, we can pivot. Nobody in 1980s would have foreseen autonomous vehicles or ADAS, uh, buying cars online. There was no online. Even ride hailing from an app, nobody even thought of that thing. But all those things can be incorporated into and built upon a core philosophy that endures. The fact that it's so easy to detach and disconnect from humanity now compared to those days makes those values much more relevant.